Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ryan today. Hope you're having a good day. If you are, let me know in the comment section below what is going on with you guys. What is going good? But anyways, in the background, it is a 100k game, 92 kill streak, and world record choke on the viral pub stomping plant channel by yours truly. So I hope you guys will enjoy that in the background today. But anyways, I have a pretty interesting story for you guys. But first, gonna tell you what the world record choke was, okay? I'm sure you guys were wondering that. It was the highest kill streak in 6v6 without using streaker. And I unfortunately ran out of time in this gameplay and was about 10 kills short of tying it and 11 from beating it. So that sucks, but still a great gameplay nonetheless. But what is streaker? You might be wondering. Streaker allows you to have four kill streaks or score streaks, whatever you want to call them. And as you can see in this gameplay, I only have three, but they still went in for me. Really good gameplay, and I think you guys will enjoy that. But my story today is pretty interesting. It's about the time that a baby got lost in Mammoth Cave while I was at Mammoth Cave. So Mammoth Cave, I'm sorry, I've said that so much, but it is it is the biggest, yes, biggest cave in the world and it's here in Kentucky where I live so Kentucky is known for a lot of limestone now it may seem boring but that is what creates sinkholes caves and what happens is usually limestone is found around rivers anywhere that has water basically you know there's usually a lot of limestone and that creates caves that creates sinkholes and obviously it made mammoth cave so that is a very dangerous thing to be around. Not necessarily caves, however, sinkholes are very dangerous. So there possibly could be some in Mammoth Cave. Um, you know, obviously they wouldn't let us go around sinkholes if they were. But anyways, more about the baby being lost. So I was on a four hour tour with my family at Mammoth Cave and this couple, they had a kid. Okay, obviously, you know what goes down, they lose the kid. You know, you could probably tell that by the title. And basically, at the end of the tour, they noticed, like, it took them, I don't know how long, to notice they didn't have their baby. But, um, you know, at the end of the four-hour tour, they said, oh my god, we don't have our baby. So they totally forgot about their kid. They had no care for the kid. You know, they were just worried about the cave-in exploring and stuff like that so the baby was in a lot of danger okay so like I said there is a lot of moisture water river stuff like that around limestone to make the cave and where the baby was found at was about two and a half hours into the uh, tour meaning that for about an hour and a half they were going on without their baby they did not care about their kid they were just worried about you know exploring the cave like I said so that is not good okay um you know like I said the baby was found it was found about two hours and a half into the tour and where it was was right next to a claw it was a uh, closed off section in the tour where there was a bridge going over the river like I said it was closed off so the baby possibly you know if it was a little bit older it could have crawled off <laughs> you know right underneath the guardrails went into the river and would have been dead because you know what newborn baby or little kid knows how to swim instantly you know you don't so that wouldn't have been good there's a lot of more possibilities that could have went wrong you know obviously bats they carry Ebola and you know there's obviously bats in caves so you gotta watch out for that um so yeah there's a lot of danger that the baby could have been in and it's an interesting story obviously at the end of the day you know they got their baby back they were very embarrassed but very happy to have their kid back um so yeah not very good parents glad i'm not their son <laughs> you know that wouldn't be too good let me know if you guys have any crazy stories like this in the comment section below well, anyways, if you guys enjoyed the gameplay and commentary, you know, please check out my channel in the description below. I think that you guys will enjoy my channel. I'm coming up close to 100 subscribers, and once I do that, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed your stay on the Viral Pub Stomping Clan channel. And yeah, if you're new here, please be sure to subscribe and like the video if you did enjoy. Well, anyways, I am out. Have a good day, people. Peace.